Today we're going to be assembling a servo center, servo tester. It's Arduino based. It can be powered over the USB or from a battery with a BEC or ESC. And essentially it is to center your servos and then test their motion. And at this point you can plug up to three servos, power it on, it immediately centers. And then you can cycle the servo by holding the button here. And uh, the moment you release, it auto centers. And you can plug in several servos. Um, in the kit, you get the Arduino Nano, with a 168 processor, a momentary button, two resistors, an LED, some header pins, and then the female header pins that will go on the back of the board. And you also get the servo tester board, custom design here. And uh, basically this supports three different servo pins, BEC, and the components you see here. We'll start with the first resistor and this is the 330. It has an orange and kind of a red line on it and that is going to go down here by the LED on the board and this is the front of the board. This is the side you want to build the components on. Uh, Just bend the wires in on themselves so that it'll stay in place um, like that. Do the 10K ohm resistor. This is for the pull up uh, resistor on the button. Okay. From there, We'll do the header pins and I just set this is the 2x3 that comes with the Arduino Nano and uh, you don't need to install that on the end here so it makes a great header pin for the servos put the long pins down into a breadboard this is great to make sure that they're straight and then uh, clip the 6x1 here so you got 3 and 3 and one of them will be complete the servo and the other one will be used with the BEC so you get three by three here and then I usually just test where this is going to go so let's go face down So that's where the pins are going to go. Apply heat to the board and to the pin at the same time and then the solder will just flow right around it. At this point we could put the LED in and uh, the long wire is positive so just put that in the one the hole that's marked positive and the other one the shorter one goes in the negative solder it this time we can put the the button in there as well so this will only go in one way make sure it's flat and I can use my solder station for this At that point we have everything soldered on and we can clip it up and clean it up. So on this you just, just start clipping.
we solder up the Arduino Nano and uh, I just put the pins in if you put the pins in the board it will uh, make sure you solder them in straight make sure you get it in the solder holes not the uh, the bolt-on holes Make sure it's pushed down flush, everything's flat and straight before you solder it up. And at this point, you just go through and you solder all 30 pins in place. Okay, at this point, we have the Arduino soldered up. Be careful pulling it out that you don't bend the pins. But they should be straight. And uh, just like that. So now, put the female header pins on those. And this is important when you start to marry this together to have the pins on the right side. I just remember that the USB port on the Arduino Nano goes to the same side as the BEC, the three pins opposite of the button. So you just line up these holes and get those headers in there. And I solder up a couple of pins and then I move it over to uh, my solder holder. So we'll just lock it in real quick. Just pick some. All right, at this point, we have all the pins soldered. And we should be able to load the firmware on the Arduino. You need to go to the GitHub Chrome Servo Tester. The link will be down below. And you'll be able to get the code here. This is the, the Servo Tester and just click on the code here download a zip and when you download the zip save it locally and uh, when you open it in here a folder called servo tester take this entire directory right here and extract it into a location on your hard drive where you want to run it the Arduino ID requires the servo tester folder to match the servo tester INO code file. It just works that way. No IDE. And once you do that, it's going to look like this. Um, it's only about 92 lines of code. And you'll be able to, at this point, select the COM port. When you plug it in, and on mine it shows up as COM port 3. The other thing you'll want to select is the Arduino Nano board from the list, and also the processor for this red Arduino is the Atmega 168 processor. Once you get those three things selected, you should be able to compile and build uh, this right here. This upload button will compile it and load it. So you click it, you see it's compiling it, compiles real quick, it's uploading it right now. And it'll say done uploading. At this point, you can open up the serial monitor and uh, servo te center tester 
and it gives you the centered value and the PWM value and then it's servo. If you press the button now on the servo tester, it's going to start cycling through back and forth and those are the PWM values. If you release the button, servo centered right down here at the bottom. And this is just a serial output that the device will put out on baud rate uh, 9600. Here in the code and the setup, um, and uh, the output for that. At this point, we're ready to plug it in and test it with a servo. Okay, we've just loaded the software, and uh, when I would test this, the light would look, come on. So now I'm just applying power through USB. We should see the light flash when I power it. And there we go. So it's booted up and ready to go. I can put the servo on there. You'll see the power LED is on on the Arduino. And um, I'll just move the servo to the side so you can see it center. And we'll just pick any of these pins. Make sure you put it on the, the data side, the signal side. And it's centered. We'll cycle it. You want to put it in a case you can download the STL files the links are in the description and also on the readme file on the github and this is the box that I've designed to go with it it's a pretty snug fit um, if it is a little tight sometimes the boards here are a little rough you can sand that off if you needed but I didn't have to on this one but it is tight you just kind of work it in you get the USB port goes in that side the board rests in a, a shelf and uh, and from there that's it put in uh, self tapping screws right here on these four corners and you're set and uh, looks just like that with the screws in it Hope you enjoy it. This fun project to uh, get some electronic testing and Arduino code as well as something that's actually very useful when you're building airplanes and being able to center the servos. I walk up, I can unplug a ESC and plug it right in to uh, here to power it on my plane and then uh, put a, my plane servos right off the uh, receiver if I want to test the servo and uh, the battery and everything so. and that's over the ESC anyway I hope you find this information useful and enjoy the kit if you're interested in the kit you don't have to use the kit but it makes it easier for the wiring um, and the code is freely available as is the STL files. Thanks for watching.